Welcome everyone. Today we will be replacing a computer power supply. To do this, we will need a spiral fastener removal device with four point coupling and, of course, the replacement power supply. We will be removing an expensive name brand power supply and replacing it with a cheap, no name one because that is always a win proposition. As we can see here, this is the computer in question. This one has a special case with a window on the side, enabling the motherboard to photosynthesize. Now, normally, when working inside of a computer to prevent damage to the static-sensitive components, we would use an anti-static wrist strap, which is a device that sucks the electrons out of the iron in your blood and sends them to the Ferengi at the electric company. However, we do not have one. So, to prevent damage, we will be operating barefoot. A brief tour of the insides of the computer. Cup holder, wires, obsolete technology, cable, piracy, receptacle, tubes, fan thing, arts and crafts material, green flat thing, little green flat thing, metal box with a warning label that tells you in five different languages not to open it under penalty of death, 256 megabyte NVIDIA GeForce 4. Now we shall remove the old power supply if we can figure out how. It's got that new power supply smell. They even give you a free rubber band. And here we thought this was the discount cheapo no-name brand. The parts of the power supply. The fan. The switch toggles the built-in coffee maker mode. The switch either makes the computer run twice as fast or makes it explode in a ball of fire. I can't remember which. Wires. <laughs> Now we see why sane people plan ahead. This little connector on the old power supply fits into my generic obsolete device in here. New power supply has all kinds of connectors, but it does not have that one. Furthermore, it does not fit into the mounting screws on my old case. I take back what I said before. The problem is not that I failed to plant ahead, the problem is that I am just retarded. The reason that this doesn't fit together right, I removed part of the case by accident when I removed the old power supply. And a special connector to power my floppy disk is right here. The screw holes in the case do not match up with screw holes in the plate because, drumroll, I screwed it in upside down. Holy cow on a stick! It works! Wow! That was so easy! Even I could do it! Next week, we will cover how to customize your monitor with these special effects. Look at that wonderful red splotching and blue streaking.
Don't you want to monitor like this? Next week, we'll show you how.